everyone. I am Valerie Mondujano and this is my In the Bag. We're gonna start off with putting putters. I putt with the classic judge. The judges just fit well in my hand. I like how, how small the rim is. It's very low profile, but I like how straight the flight is. I could just snap a putt and just aim straight to the pole and I know it's not gonna fade out or it's not gonna Anheuser. They're just pretty straight. Moving on to my throwing putters. Start with my most understable putter. Christian Tatar Goldline X Pure. This disc, when it's first brand new, it will go straight and then over time it just beats up and tends to flip. Um, that's what happened to me. So this is my understable hyzer flip, go straight putter. Next is my Moonshine Warden. This is my most thrown putter, I have to say. I like to throw it because it's straight to stable or I put a lot of snap behind it and then it's just gonna go dead straight. Throw it on the ante, it's gonna hold and then flex out at the end. Um, I carry two harps. This is my BT hard harp. Um, this is my forehand, sometimes backhand, depending on the green. If it's a little slopey, then I'll backhand it or throw it a little soft in the forehand, but I just really like this harp. Um, I know it's gonna stick. I know it's not gonna get any ground play. Moving on to my VIP chameleon harp. This is a little skippier than my BT harp. Um, I'll forehand this with a little more speed and then it'll get some ground play or uh, some skip shots if I have to for up shots. Um, it just goes far and it holds up in the wind, which we're going to need this week. <music> Moving on to my mid ranges. I'm gonna go from stable to understable. I carry the anvil. The anvil is very overstable for me. It probably comes out when it's really windy outside. Again, I love to forehand it for up shots. When I feel like my harp's not enough, I'll pull up my anvil. For my backhands, I'll throw it on a little ante, get the flex out of it. If I need it to come back a little faster, I'll pull up the anvil. Moving on to a, my verdict. My verdict is my more straight than stable mid. Um, it's never going to flip over in the wind. If I want a little more distance than my anvil, I'll throw my Verdict. Moving on to my Hybrid Emac Truth. Um, again, this is just less than my Verdict. If I want turnover and then slight finish at the end, I'll throw this, or if I want to throw it with power, I know it's just gonna stand up, go straight, and then a quick fade to the left. Moving on to my um, Understable Mid. Fuse Goldline X. This is probably my favorite mid. Uh, I love to hyzer flip it. I love to throw it flat and it just turns over for me. I like to put a lot of spin behind it and I know it's going to fade to the right. Or if there's tunneled shots or wooded shots and I know I just have to go dead straight, I'll pull out my fuse and I know it's just gonna carry that line straight for me. I carry two Mavericks. I carry the SE Maverick, which is my more understable Maverick. Um, once again, I love the Heiser Flip disc, and this is my Heiser Flip, my most understable fairway. I'll throw it flat and it flips over for me. And then I have the Lucid Maverick. This is my more stable. I'll still throw it flat and it'll get some fade, but not as much as the SE, and then it'll come back for me. Or if I put a little Heiser on it, I know it's just gonna hold that line. I carry one Vando. When I want more distance than my SE Maverick will give me, I'll pull out the Vandal, put it on a hyzer flip, or if I want to throw more touch shots, I'll throw this flat, and it'll just kind of carry straight for me, but a, a little finish to the right. Then my Evader. This one's my more stable fairway. Um, I can put some snap behind it, and I know it's not going to drift right. It's just going to push straight, and then kind of just slowly fade to the left. Um, I can really count on this disc with a little more wind than my Vando can handle. Uh, moving on to my Chameleon Explorer. Um, I really like this disc to forehand. I throw it flat on forehands and I know I can just snap it out to the left and it's just going to finish. It's not going to go too far. Um, I backhand it once in a while when there's a little more wind. Um, forehands, it's just my go-to when I know I'm not trying to get max distance with it. 
Um, moving on to my getaways. We'll start off with my more overstable fusion getaway. This one is my trust in the wind. Know that it's not gonna get me the most distance, but it's also gonna keep me in bounds. Um, I throw it mainly on forehands. I like to do chop flicks with it. Moving on to my favorite getaway. So this getaway is probably my favorite getaway just because it helped win Waco Open. It's a lot more straight than this Fusion getaway. Um, just like I threw it at Waco on hole 17, I had to have a lot of trust in it and I think it showed that I did. Um, I threw it flat and let it just come out and it just stabled up at the end and just sat there, which for that moment showed how much trust and how much I really enjoy throwing this getaway. Moving on to the Criminal and Lucid. The Criminal, it, it's a utility disc. When I, occasionally when I need to throw a roller or just a short 200 foot shot, it's not gonna go any further than that for me. Again, sidearm, I like to throw it with sidearm when there's more wind out there than my mids can handle. Moving on to my distance drivers. I throw the triple burst trespass. This is probably my favorite driver. Again, I'm, I love the hyzer flip disc. This one, I just throw it on a hyzer. I know it's gonna stand up and drift to the right or I throw it flat with not so much power and it just goes straight for me. Moving on to the Royal Grace. I feel like it's like the big brother to my trespass, a little more stable, a little more stability behind it. I throw this when there's, again, a little more wind or when I, when I want to put a little more snap behind my throw. And then moving on to my Lucid Sheriff. The Lucid Sheriff, I probably can get more distance than my Grace or my trespass. It, can, it just goes really straight for me. It, I throw it flat and it just turns over and then comes back at the end. Um, I love to forehand it in straighter shots. The Royal Rive. I've been throwing this disc just for a few days now, um, and I'm really liking it. I really, especially like it in the headwinds. I can get distance without worrying about it turning over or doing too much work. Um, this is probably my headwind disc or just windy conditions. Onto the Ballista Pro. I probably throw it the most when I have like just a straight up open bomber hole. I'll just throw this as hard as I can. And again, it'll just turn over. I get a little flex on it and then it comes back at the end. This is my Lucid Chameleon Enforcer. This disc is just really a utility disc, just those short hyzers or if I need to get around a, a bush that's way far left or a sidearm, a quick sidearm. But yeah, I'm not gonna be able to throw it maybe 200 feet and that's probably pushing it for me. Um, but yeah, it's a utility disc. And that is it for my in the bag.